Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and the Change Your Life Through Posture video series. Okay, so per usual, if you haven't seen my prior videos to this one, please make sure that you click the Change Your Life Through Posture playlist link below. Click on the introduction video. Just keep watching all the way until you come back to this video. That way we are all on the same page, okay? Okay, so today's video I am very excited about. Um, it is entitled, a spinal journey and it's all about the spine it's all about listening to your spine and I am extremely excited about starting this video because uh, this is all about the body it's the physical side of my entire series and this was the catalyst that started all of this for me so I'm very eager to get started with it before I do anything I have to do uh, the unveiling of the hair so this is the first time where I finally let my hair grow completely out. I wanted to see how long can it go and how long can I tolerate it. And so far I'm doing pretty good. And I have gotten nonstop, my God, you have really great hair. You have really good hair from hairstylists and people that I know and friends and all this stuff. So I said, okay, let's just keep growing it and see how it is. So here it is, the unveiling of the hair. There it is. It's nice and long. This is from my own haircut. This is the end result. And I'm just gonna keep letting it grow. So I am so excited about where I land when this is all over. We're about halfway through in this one. And I purposely waited to do the body portion, which I'm now excited to get started on right now, but I couldn't do all of this. Fix the posture and believe that I could keep that in place if I hadn't taken care of all the other parts of my world. I had to take care of the external part. I had to take care of the internal part. I'm about to do the spiritual part, which we're gonna to do together later. And I'm already started now on the physical body. So let's jump in and get started with this because I'm really excited. So here's the second unveiling. I want you to see, this is exactly how I truly look when I am standing throughout the day and I catch myself with my posture throughout the day. I'm just gonna turn and you can see. And that's it. This is it, everybody. That's my posture. This is what I catch myself doing throughout the day. I could be standing, I can be walking like this, I can be sitting at my computer desk, and this is exactly where I'm comfortable. I'm not really comfortable is the point, but I call that comfortable because that's what feels normal to me. All right, so we're gonna take this on right now. Here's the next thing that's happening for me, okay? I am walking around in that position, like I said, and I'm kind of pushed all the way down like this. All these physical things are happening to my body. First of all, my chin's over here. My whole weight of my head is now coming down. So it's pulling my whole body in a downward position, which means that my entire body, including my joints and my, you know, my hips, my shoulders, my neckline, all these things are compensating for my physical posture. So I'm literally walking around in pain, not aware that I'm in pain, because now my body's gotten used to it and it said, oh, okay, we're standing like that, so that's cool, we'll just keep standing like that because this is what you want me to do, I'll manage it, I'll make it work. So I'm putting all this stress on my knees, on my ankles, on my hips, on my shoulders, on my neck, and the back of my skull, all of this stuff is being stressed. And why? Why would I do that to my body? Why not honor my body and give it its best possible position that I can give it by standing up more erect and more fully tall to give myself the ability to start moving through space with less stress. In addition to one more thing that's going on. Now I'm all slouched over, right? Now I've got my skeletal body is all kind of stressed and uh, hurting and I know it's hurting and I can feel it when I can catch it and I stand up I can actually feel myself breathing better. I can feel more air coming into my lungs. I can feel uh, Less stress along the back of my back on my hips down my legs I can literally feel it. So the question is why haven't I been aware of that? Well, that's something I'm working through right now and I'm going to start this journey now Today, while you're watching this, it's actually starting. So, but the rest of it is, okay, I'm all bent over like that. Well, what else is happening on the inside? 
What's going on with all my organs? They're all being crushed down together, all trying to do their job, and they're all like competing for space. When I have all this other space from standing upright, my organs can function in a more effective way. That's a huge plus. That's a huge reason just to consider, you know, changing the posture physically so that you're helping your body function. That's a huge deal. I think it's absolutely huge and incredibly important. So those types of things are just on the physical side, right? We've got all that going on in there. Now, what about the rest of it? So there's a whole nother part of this process of posture that many of us just overlook completely. So if I'm standing like this, here I am, I'm looking out. Am I looking out? No, I'm not looking out, I'm looking down. If I do this, yes, I'm looking out, but I'm doing this to my body. And this is a normal position for me. I can't stress it enough. I'll find a way to prove it to others. I'll show you pictures later if you need it, but I promise you that's how I stand. And that's what I'm correcting. But where I was getting to was my view of the world is this. This is my view. If I pull up like this, I kind of see this much of the world. And if I carry it down to here, throughout the day, this is what I'm walking around and I'm seeing. Unless I need to engage with somebody and then I do that. But if I don't, I'm right back to here. So all day long, I'm taking in space around the floor and I can see my feet. That's pretty much it. So if you take that little change and you just come straight up, I open the entire rest of the world around me. I can see so much more around me. I'm actually welcoming so much more of the world and I'm participating with everything around me as opposed to here. I'm closing off so much of the world. So if your posture is like this and you start standing like this, it has to make a change. It has to affect your thinking, it has to affect the way you look at the world, it has to affect your attitude, it has to affect how you're feeling, it has to affect all these things that are connected to you as an entity. It's all a part of your world. It's all a part of how you react. You know, it's not what happens to you on the earth, it's how you react to what happens to you, which defines who you are as a person. And I am finding that there's a lot more that I have to give as a human being. And this is part of it. All right, so here is how we're going to work through this. I'm going to work through these two techniques or three techniques that I actually created for myself. Um, and there are going to be some exercises coming up. Uh, so the three techniques are going to be, uh, first of all, stretching, making sure that you are limber and stretching your body. I'm going to link down to a number of uh, videos that I have found for stretching. Uh, I'm not going to teach any stretching here. I just want to share with you what I've learned and what I'm going to be using. And then there is the pole posture technique. This is my creation that has come out of all of my years as a performer and all of the teachers that I've had. And I'm combining all of my uh, skills to have created my own basic, uh, basic exercise that's going to help me with straightening my spine and lengthening it. Okay, and then the third one is another of my own creations, which I call uh, body sculpting. But before you do any of this, I cannot stress again, not a physical guru in any way. I'm not trying to teach anything to do with how you should be physical in your life. But what I will say is no matter what you try to do, including these exercises, if you do take on any exercises, you should always, Always check with a medical professional before you do it, whether it be your uh, primary care or a chiropractic or a physical therapist, whoever those people are in your life that you know, you know you can count on and say, am I physically fit to be doing this? And show them the video. Show them what I'm physically doing if you want to take it on and try it and see if it helps you as well. So make sure you check with a medical professional just like this. Hi everybody, I am here with my chiropractor, Dr. Rossi. Greetings all. Hello. <laughs> so Dr. Rossi is a chiropractor of NUCA. I am. NUCA is a specialized form that we do. No twisting, no cracking, no popping. Just means we're better than everybody else in every way. Yeah. We're super elitist. And I love it. It's totally awesome <laughs> if you haven't checked out 
Luca, please do so. All right, so uh, I'm here for two reasons, of course. First of all, for my session, which we had just completed. Yes, sir. And uh, secondly, also to get your okay on me starting a new exercise. So I'm making clear to everyone, whenever you begin any exercise that has to do with this channel, that first you all should always check with your doctor and make sure that you are physically capable of doing so. Now, I've already shown him my pole posture technique. We've already been through it physically. Right. So it's up to me now to follow my own rules. If I say, check with your doctor, I'm gonna check with my doctor. So Dr. Rossi, am I physically fit to begin a regimen of my pole posture technique? Yes, I've already reviewed all of the actual pole, post pole positioning technique. I mean, you said it was me tongue twister and it is enjoy. <laughs> yes, I already reviewed all the movements, uh, a few caveats to throw in. I know Ken already touched on it. Please do not start a new workout regimen or a new stretch regimen without being checked out by a primary care doctor first. Ken has already taken all those steps. Uh, the other thing is at any time with stretch routines or any movement routines, please, you can stretch up to the point of pain, never through or past pain. Really important point. So make sure, again, always check with your doctor first before you start anything like that. So as a thank you, I, I want to link to whatever pages that you would like me to in my description section of my video. Beautiful. And if you guys uh, get a chance, please check out his information because the story be behind how he and his business partner have actually become chiropractors is totally fascinating and it's really amazing. Okay, um, what else? You'll notice that I did not ask you as a favor to you, am I mentally fit to begin oh, my regimen? He is absolutely fit in every way <laughs> mentally. In no way does he have any problems. Wow, that is so <laughs> kind. He's a really amazing guy. All right, all right guys, thank you so much for watching and we're gonna get back to the other video. Here we go, enjoy. Thank you. Okay, that <laughs> is Dr. Rossi. Yes, I love the man. He is so funny. He is so animated. He's so amazing. Uh, his story of how he and his chiropractic partner have uh, started their business together is truly inspiring. So make sure you check out, I'm going to be linking to uh, his website. And it talks all about everything that he does and everything that they're about. And I truly love, he's practicing Nuka. Uh, chiropractic, which I prefer because n no cracking and it, I really believe he has been helping me a great deal. So uh, make sure you check it out. Okay, so now we're going to jump in. Here's the meat of it. Ready? First uh, exercise is the pole posture technique. Right? Simple. It's very simple, but again, make sure that you have stretched before you do any of this. But you are going to take two, uh, we're combining two things that I've learned as a performer. Uh, one is when I'm a singer, I, I have learned how to breathe from the diaphragm. Diaphragm is the space right here, right below the rib cage. You can fill this diaphragm and you can use it uh, for very powerful sustenance when you're singing. So you can keep that air and use that to help propel air out. But it also helps you with breathing. And breathing is incredibly important in addition to your posture. And it's a part of your posture, actually. So when you breathe in from your diaphragm, which is to concentrate on the air being filled here, like this, watch my shoulders. I'm already standing up taller, right? So that's how you're gonna start out the exercise. You're gonna breathe in through the diaphragm, right? I'm gonna turn now, good, breathe out again. But you wanna breathe in, and then from there, you're going to pretend, this was from my dance class instructors, you're gonna pretend that there's a giant pole, possibly a fire pole or whatever, coming straight up along your back, and you're going to pretend that you are going to actually push the bottom of your skull as high as you can into that pole to bring yourself upright. And you wanna do it from the bottom of the skull, not the top of your head. You wanna do it basically from right there, the base of your skull. So you're gonna breathe out first, breathe in, your shoulders are come up. And as you're exhaling, you're going to reach as high as you can on that pole with the back of your skull. Keep the position. Breathe in again. Breathe out and reach higher. Breathe in and reach higher. 
And then that is the highest that I can get right now. And remember, like Dr. Rossi said, do not push past the point of pain. Do not create pain for yourself. This is now my new neutral stance versus that, right? There. And then you just simply walk around and carry yourself like this, trying to keep the stance, trying to keep the position. If you lose the position, you can go right back to square one and start breathing again. Do it three times. Three times allows you to kind of really function with getting it as high up as you can go. Now, this is like my neutral position now. My goal is to keep carrying this around for the next 30 days. And as I continue to progress, and get used to this as my new norm, all the muscles and tendons in my neck and all the areas that are affected with my spine are gonna start letting go. The muscles are gonna say, okay, this is our new position. This feels good. I can breathe better. Less is hurting. There's less going on with my hips. Wow, that's, that's cool. That's awesome. Oh, my organs are functioning. Yay. So really cool stuff is happening. Anyhow, as you continue to progress, your new normal will continue to get higher and higher and higher. Now the reason why I say the back of the skull and not the top of your head, the back of the skull needs to hit the back of that pole because that forces the chin down a little bit because that's actually a more proper, from what I understand, and someone please correct me if I'm wrong, proper part of your posture because by bringing the chin back, you're not pulling the head forward and all that weight's now going down the front of your body. If it's back, it's all centered right over top of your body, right over the core. So that's gonna help build your core in addition to everything else. So that's an incredibly important exercise in my world. And we'll see how this goes. 30 days from now, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how much have I progressed since then, how much has changed for me now that I'm combining all three of my elements together. Okay, so that's an exciting one. Now, my next one and my last for the day is going to be uh, the body sculpting. And again, this is complete experimentation. And I don't suggest anybody, I mean, feel free to do it. Don't do it, don't believe me, try it yourself, see if it works for you, that's all I'm saying. Okay, body sculpting basically means, just like a bodybuilder does, they, have, they build up and they use weight resistance, they use various techniques to increase in muscle mass, and then that mass helps to fill out space and that's why their stance starts to change. But in addition to that, there, I believe, is some other stuff going on. I believe mentally they're seeing where they physically want the body to land, where they want their position to be on their shoulders, basically. Where, and and it, it's part of the posture as well and the stance, but I think they actually visualize it. And I'm gonna to continue to visualize it in addition to saying, okay, this is how I want to stand comfortably in my world. And this is what I believe is the correct posture for me. My body will tell me if it isn't. I'll start having pain or I'll start having some reactions to it. If it gets incredibly uncomfortable, I'm gonna stop. And I'm gonna let you guys know what happens in 30 days, whether I've had success with this or not. But in addition to the whole visual side of it, you can literally all day long do this. You have muscles that you can flex, right? All of these muscles are all throughout your entire body. You can be flexing those muscles. You can flex your thigh. You can flex your calf muscle. You can flex your biceps and triceps. You could just be doing that all day long. You can walk around just lightly, not obvious. It doesn't have to be obvious. You know, just do it all day long because guess what? This is part of your new underlying manifestation. So not only are you gonna be focused on the pole posture technique, but you're also gonna be focused on body sculpting. So you can sculpt that muscle all day long on the inside. Don't have to share it with everybody. You don't have to walk around going, I'm body sculpting, look at me. No, don't need that. They don't care. Even so, if somebody does come up and they come up to you and you're going, wow, what's going on? Why are you making, you got all these changes happening in your life. Why, why are you standing like that? Why are you looking like that? Because they're not probably used to what you're doing. The only answer you need if you have to have an answer, you don't owe it to anybody to explain it, but if you wish to, my personal opinion is the only thing you need to tell them is, oh, I'm just getting myself stronger. What are they gonna to say to that? 
How dare you? Are you sure? I am just getting myself stronger. Just making myself stronger. That's all I'm doing. I'm making myself stronger. So I'm, I'm a big fan of that response and I'm gonna start using it this week because I know I'm gonna be hearing from others around me, wow, you're standing up straighter or, or something's different. What's going on with you? What's happening with you? When I'm changing my thought process, using my other underlying manifestation, where I'm making sure that I'm catching my thoughts and flipping them and changing them into the most positive thought that I can and going with that. And it may happen while I'm standing there talking to somebody and they're like, what's going on? Oh, I'm just making myself stronger. That's the only answer you need. Even for yourself, it's nice to hear it out loud because you are. Okay, so that's what I have for today. I hope I have covered everything. If I missed anything, I'm going to throw it in a little, little uh, ending. Uh, but I think I covered everything that I wanted to for today. I know this was a long video and I appreciate you watching. And I hope that I have helped some of you out there in some way or given you encouragement to strengthen yourself because it's incredibly important, in my opinion, to be the best you that you can be. Why not? Why not better your life by bettering your posture? I think it can only help you. Thank you so much again for watching, guys. And I thank you all for supporting me. And I'm very excited about carrying on from this point forward. And I will see you in 30 days. Yay! Okay, bye. I'm Dr. Rossi. <laughs> Welcome. This is going in the outtakes. Works for me. <laughs> and then we suck on some healing.